what's good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the tiffany stratton backlash more wwe superstars apparently injured wwe twitch was hacked and other wrestling news now i have been seeing some of the clips of what's been going on with this tiffany stratton and i believe she like made like a meme slash clip in relation to uh jay cargill and she's been receiving some backlash from it i i didn't know the full context of it like i said i seen the clip on twitter and, and people with this outrage but i want to definitely get some more context to it but you know how it is someone makes a mistake or says something and it may be taken out of context and then the same fans that were sitting up there saying oh it's tiffy time we want tiffany to win this and win that are the same fans that are ready to give out some type of outrage and want to cancel or stuff like that so we're gonna check it out see what's going on interesting news day for wrestling right now let's get right into it man it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE's Twitch account hacked by Uncle Howdy. Was Uncle oh. Howdy in the crowd at Raw? Controversy surrounding Tiffany Stratton. Big rumors on the Clash at the Castle main event. Is the WWE star really injured? And much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at WWE Twitch account hacked by Uncle Howdy. Atop of today's news is a Twitch video that has fans going wild with speculation about the mystery many believe surrounds the pending return of Uncle Howdy in a group that may be long rumored at the Wyatt Six or something similar. The WWE's Twitch account was hacked on 16th May, with footage airing of The Fiend's former therapist talking with an unknown figure believed by some to be Uncle Howdy. The video features several QR codes, including past ones shown, but also a new one described by comicbook.com as, the first video leads to the new Colossus poem, albeit it's been heavily redacted. What is shown, however, are the lines, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Throughout that are the same black and white videos of the figures outside of a home and driving on the road. They were broken, I didn't fix them, I accepted them. Before it cuts off the phrase, they open the door, is repeated throughout the screen with we can be family displayed at the bottom. The video features many glitches as well as symbols fans have seen in past messages. The video ends on a wild note as a stranger hands a paper to the therapist asking her, do you want to meet them? To which the therapist responds, who is them? The video also includes a newspaper clipping reporting on a missing woman believed to be the therapist and like previous clues leave fans with more questions than answers. The various clues and messages surrounding these bizarre videos have led to speculation that the person behind them has assembled wrestlers who might be viewed as abandoned or even shunned in the Ooh. WWE. Messages such as even now you doubt us and, and but soon you will understand that all we ever wanted was a chance seem to back this theory up. Mm. Whilst this is just speculation. Theories about the group's membership include WWE yeah. superstars Joe Gacy, Dexter Lumis, Nikki Cross, yeah. Alexa Bliss, Bo Dallas, and Eric Rowan. Fans are asking whether The Fiend will be part of the group or whether the WWE will leave his character retired after Bray Wyatt's passing. Some fans have even began wondering whether Jey Uso's encouragement of fans to use their cell phones yeah. to light up arenas like they did as Bray Wyatt's Fireflies will lead to an angle with the Wyatt Six. There are so many possibilities and the WWE Universe seems to have a theory for every imaginable scenario. A big things are happening when it comes to the storyline that seems to involve Uncle Howdy, with rumors Howdy and possibly other creepy cohorts will show up at the King and Queen of the Ring. Expectations are definitely high. Do you think the WWE can deliver with this storyline? Let us know in the comments down below. Nick yeah, nah, this is this is very, very interesting. No, that's my catchphrase. But I, it really is. The fact they're really putting a lot of effort into this with this Uncle Howdy stuff and, and the teasing and stuff like that is definitely giving the vibes of when Bray was set to return. Like, they're, they're doing a really good job. They're doing a really good job. And hopefully... If they are having some members be a part of this faction or whatever's going to happen, hopefully they utilize them and it can be something that um, is memorable. You feel me? Like, we know this is part of the, the Bray Wyatt universe, so I know they're going to try to take good care of this as much as possible, and we want it to be good. And I hope they do something really unique with the hunk uncle howdy character I'm, I'm i'm very excited very intrigued and interested in where this goes they're doing a good job 
of setting this up, by the way. They're killing it. Next up, did Uncle Howdy appear at a recent Raw? Our alleged fan video shows a person that some argue is Uncle Howdy watching the events from the 13th May Raw. The clip is brief, but there is some resemblance to Uncle Howdy. Knowing how the WWE injects subtle clues into the background, fans may want to keep their eyes open during SmackDown to see yeah. if someone resembling Uncle Howdy appears. The WWE's latest video, clues and other easter eggs are giving some fans the chills as if they're watching The Ring or other scary movies. Next up, controversy surrounding yeah, Tiffany Stratton. Let's see what's going now, on is here. Now, actually backstage heat on SmackDown superstar Tiffany Stratton. Rumors began circulating that a social media post she had shared led to her being pulled from her Queen of the Ring match against Bianca Belair. There appears to be both controversy and confusion over the matter, so let's look at what we know so far. Controversy erupted when Strand shared a post from a recent tag match against Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair. Wrestling News reported, she shared a clip on her Instagram stories of a tag team match she had against Jade Cargill and Belair. The clip that was made by another user had an edited sound effect with the term, as she knocked Jade off the apron. She quickly deleted the post after realizing the user had made an edit. According to PW Insider's Mike Johnson, after speaking to several credible sources, we are told that Stratton absolutely is not in trouble for anything internally within WWE. Actually, that Stratton has be. been nothing but praised by management and other talent since moving to the main roster a few months back. Some fans were upset by the post, but if Raven's report is accurate, Stratton's only error was posting the video without checking its content. Yeah. It's also unknown if she used a social media manager. Ultimately, it's a reminder of the downside of social media, as something as seemingly innocent as liking a post can bring backlash if the poster is vilified by the IWC. Next up, a big- Yeah, she'll be fine, bro. They, it, she, I'm sure once she realized it, she deleted it, bro. It, it, it's- you know, people going to get on their, their high and mighty horse and all of a sudden now they feel some type of way. Uh, I was wondering where the backlash came from. And now if that's it, stop. Stop, bro. I, I don't even think Jay Cargill care that much. Stop, guys. It's not that fucking serious. You guys just want to be mad about anything. Let's let's look at some of you guys and girls lives under a microscope. I'm pretty sure. People would be upset with some of the stuff y'all say and do on a day-to-day -day basis. Shut the fuck up. Big rumors on Clash at the Castle main event. The WWE's Clash at the Castle Scotland will be here soon as the WWE brings the PLE to Glasgow, Scotland on 15th June. With the event being held in Scotland, the WWE Universe is naturally wondering what role Drew McIntyre will play. Yeah. According to Meltzer, there are major plans for McIntyre. The it world title be. match with Damian Priest defending against Drew McIntyre is expected to take place Ooh. at Clash at the Castle on 15th June in Glasgow, Scotland. It's noticeable because the angle has been started with Priest positioned as a babyface, yeah. but in Scotland, no doubt McIntyre will be the strong babyface. Yeah. One of the big questions is who will emerge victorious? The last time Drew fought for the world title at Clash at the Castle, he came up short against Roman Reigns thanks to interference from Solo Sokoa. But Meltz amused, the finish there would look to be either McIntyre winning, since he didn't at the last Clash at the Castle, or CM Punk once again costing McIntyre. Yeah. The former makes the most sense because McIntyre would make the most sense as champion as Punk, Priest, and Seth Rollins would have stronger title storylines with McIntyre as Rollins, Punk, and McIntyre would have with Priest. There's also the question of what role the Judgment Day will play in the match. There's definitely tension between Priest and his Judgment Day teammates, which could see them actually cost him his match rather than help him keep the title, mm -hmm. either intentionally or through interference that backfires. If Damian Priest does drop the belt to McIntyre, fans are undoubtedly going to want to see what's next for Priest as well as Drew. Although Meltzer argues Drew vs Seth and Drew vs Punk are two compelling storylines, what about Gunther? At what point will the ring general enter the world title picture? They could go with the option of putting Damien and Gunther into separate feuds to keep them out of the title hunt, presumably with yeah. Priest battling his Judgment Day teammates and Gunther possibly facing longtime rival Ilya Dragunov. The fans have to wonder what the WWE's long-term plans are for him. There's also the question of whether Gunther will enter Money in the Bank and how things will play out should he win the briefcase. Gunther has been protected for the last two years and his recent IC Championship loss to Sami Zayn seems to be the blip on his career radar. But that being said, what will this mean for Gunther at King of the Ring and if he wins, will the WWE treat his crown as a title of sorts, continuing his push while also giving other superstars a chance to compete for the WWE's world title? As they continue to hold more international PLEs, expect to see more matches featuring hometown heroes in the main event. Do you want to see Damian Priest defend the World Championship against Drew McIntyre at Clash at the Castle? Yep. And if so, who would you like to win the bout? Next up- It gotta be Drew. It has to be Drew. I like the idea of CM Punk screwing him over in front of his, his home, in front of his family, in front of his friends, loved ones. It gotta be Drew. It, he, has, he has to win it. 
It only makes sense. He has to win it. Give him that moment. Give him that moment again. But it will be even bigger for him. Give him that moment. And then you can start setting up stuff. And you can also start setting up the program with um, with um, Judgment Day. Maybe Finn Balor and Damian Priest, whatever. You can start fitting that up, setting that up. Damian Priest, we knew he was going to have a, you know, it wasn't going to be a long title reign, but he would have held it for a few months at that point. It's okay. It's okay. Drew, give him give him that moment. Give him that moment. I'm I'm all for it. What y'all think? Go ahead and do it. Is a WWE star really injured? Has Ivar joined the small armory of WWE superstars waylaid by various injuries? A recent report that Ivar is injured had the WWE Universe concerned, but according to this week's Observer, it's all a work. Meltzer reported Ivar was announced as being injured from an attack by Gallus. He's just being given time off because he's been working so hard of late, but it's nothing serious and just an angle. Okay. Ivar had a chance to showcase his single skills ever since his Viking Raiders partner Eric was injured. Many fans who never saw Ivar's singles work were impressed, and the fact that WWE gave Ivar TV time shows how much things have changed since Triple H took over creative. Now we're glad to hear that the injury is a work, but the WWE still has a major issue on its hands as more superstars continue getting injured. Is this something that needs to be changed in WWE, or is this a situation that's just a string of bad luck? And finally, tonight's SmackDown will be live. And last but not least, good news for fans who like live versions of WWE TV, but who've heard an inaccurate report about tonight's blue brand. Russell Features is reporting, Dave Meltzer is reporting that next week's SmackDown is being taped tonight. That is not correct. Next week's SmackDown will take place in Saudi Arabia. Mm. As always, we'll have our weekly analysis of the latest SmackDown, as well as the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Hey, sure man, this was a good one. This was definitely a good one. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the whole Tiffany Stratton situation. Is the backlash justified or is people overreacting? And also, I'm pretty sure they're going to have the match. Drew versus Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship at Clash at the Castle. Looking forward to it. Should be good. Who wins that match? I Me mean, personally, I have Drew win it. I have Drew win it because it, that is just the perfect moment. I would have Drew win it because he's gonna be the baby face in that match. There's, he's not gonna get booed, so I would have Drew win it. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about it. Who y'all would have with it, losing that particular match? How y'all would book it and set it up? But I appreciate all love, support. Road to 150k. And I'm still here to speed at YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.